Hey everybody, what's going on? Aunt Prue here. Hope you're doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. And I just wanted to ask a general question of you. What does the world of photography mean to you today? Well, it seems like it has a different meaning nowadays because of all the different cameras that are readily accessible to us. We have smartphone cameras, you got GoPros, you got DSLRs. There's a camera everywhere. It seems like nowadays cameras have, not cameras, it seems like nowadays Photography has a different meaning and a different value to people. I think back to the 80s, and I can remember sitting on my mother's couch and flipping through photo albums and pulling out actual photographs and looking at them. The emotions that I felt looking at those old photographs. Then I look at the same photographs today from the photo album, and it's an even bigger emotion. You know, it's, it's just, it's a whole different feeling from looking at it on Instagram or social media or whatever. I had a conversation with the smartphone photographers community here recently. Check out this discussion. I wanted to touch on something that uh, that I had read or did I read it or did I see it in a video or something. But it's just the whole notion about smartphone use today. It has been evident for at least five, six years now how prominent smartphone cameras have become in photography. but. I want to look at what does photography in general mean to not only you guys here in, in the hangout tonight, but you know what does it mean to other people in, in the community as well as just the average Joe that's out there. Personally, I feel like a lot of society don't necessarily hold photography in the same light that any of us do because it's so easy to do number one and the photography isn't necessarily about the art it's more so about uh, the selfie. Uh, it's, yeah it's more it's more narcissistic you know and it's not and it doesn't necessarily have to be a selfie to be narcissistic you know it could be a shot of being at a football game you know I do that a lot I'll, I'm in the stadium and I'll take a shot of where I'm sitting or what have you you know, but it's a lot of that in society, at least from what I can see. I don't know what you guys see, but what I see on a daily basis through my news feeds and social media feeds and whatnot, I don't see as much artistic photography um, out there unless it's from people that are flat out hardcore photographers. You know, but there was there was a time in 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 the past where anybody would just be walking the park you know as joey mentioned we got the national national park week coming up people would be walking the park and would stop and say wow that right there is beautiful i i, I gotta capture that you know it's not it's not it's not like i see a lot of that anymore what do you get what are your thoughts on that mr king and uh i'll tell you one i'm starting to see especially on twitter now storm season uh has started and the so storms chasers they're starting to take more and more photos of tornadoes with their smartphone. Okay. And some of those are really fabulous pictures. You know, they're saying that they will take it first with that if they can. Then they will switch over to a uh, professional camera. But they've been taking a lot of these pictures on uh, that I'm following different ones. Uh, and they're getting some wow pictures. But yet you're right. I'm seeing that. The same thing through everything. I'm seeing the selfies. I'm seeing the food photography. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and let me let me clarify something. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with what society seems to do with the art of photography now. I, I, I'm not. Because, again, I know I am guilty of if I'm sitting in the stadium or whatever, I'll shoot a shot from... This, you know, from my seat to show what the stadium looks like and whatnot. And generally, I do that because I'm asked. <laughs> you know, hey, next time you go, I want to see what it looks like where you sit and that kind of thing. I do a lot of that stuff because I ask, because because I'm asked. But, but most of the time, I'm fairly private, and I don't want to share everything. But I appreciate the people that follow me and that subscribe to, to my content and support my content. So I try to give what they ask for you know i don't i don't like shooting my food but good gosh people love food photography man do they love food photography and what you eat today and what you drink today 
okay, this is what I ate today, you know, and I'm happy to do it because it, it, it gives them a giggle and it gives me a giggle that they're giggling, yeah. you know, so. But you're right, but you're right. Uh, I don't see the same kind of stuff like I used to, I guess because the now the fo the smartphones are everywhere and they just take pictures of anything. You don't see the stuff like the pros used to do or even even uh, even amateurs that would go out they go somewhere and they, they try to find a nice shot that they're like going on vacation to let them know where the, where everything is but um there's still some of that and there's still but it's a lot of young ones it's not you know what I'm saying young ones I mean from uh, high school to early college age a lot of it is just oh wow picture and they don't really uh, think of it uh, as much as uh, or plan it as much as someone like us. Yeah, and again, to another degree, I I, I get it. We're not professional photographers. It's not our job to go out there and snap amazing photos to make sure that our family can eat the next day. You know, that's that's not what my life mm -hmm. depends on. You know, but. I just know I personally have a different approach when it comes to snapping photos versus snapping snapshots. That's just me, you know. But what are your thoughts, Mr. Kelly? Well, I wanted to relate a, a story. I swear it'll be a brief one. Uh, yeah. There's a gentleman uh, one town over from where I grew up that has a vanity plate. Image maker. And one time in my completely and totally stupid, ignorant teenage years, I asked him why it didn't say picture taker. Now I completely understand the difference. Yeah. There is a difference between taking a picture and making an image. Yeah, sure is. All right, so there it is. Let me know your thoughts on photography today. Be sure to leave a comment below letting me know how do you feel about photographs today and if it's the same feeling from years of yore or what have you. I appreciate you watching and supporting the videos. Be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and share this video out with your friends and your enemies. Appreciate you watching. Take it easy.